Hello, I'm Elizabeth Hansen. And I'm Ember Dribdahl. And we will be presenting the methylation of linear NNN pincer ligands. So right now in the field of chemistry, there's a major trend for practicing greener chemistry. Uh, this research project specifically strives to work at a molecular level to ch achieve more sustainability within the chemical industry. One simple me mechanism being used right now to support efforts of green chemistry is the use of organometallic catalysts that are being utilized for directly and reversibly storing electrons and protons. These catalysts will allow for safer reaction conditions as well as less less waste products um, in synthetic chemistry. So our research specifically aims to synthesize and purify a successful organometallic catalyst, such as the one being shown in scheme one. So scheme one shows a organometallic catalyst um, over the arrow being used in the direct hydrogenation of ketones or aldehydes. And this reaction being shown is very common in synthetic pharmaceutical chemistry. And so by reducing the waste of this, um, it could lead to less cost and less toxicity in the environment. Elizabeth's now going to talk, talk more about the components of a catalyst and what a catalyst is. So square planar group 10 metal complexes are known to be proficient catalysts. And a catalyst is a substance that increases the rate of a chemical reaction without itself undergoing any permanent chemical change. An example of this would be an enzyme in biology. So for our um, catalyst use specifically, seen in scheme two, it shows how this general organic reaction scheme seen here um, has a lot of extra um, waste. And so this will be the waste produced from this typical organic reaction. And so by using a catalyst, we can just sidestep all of that and get to the exact same uh, product. And so by doing this, we eliminate all of this waste going into the environment. And um, we also end up reproducing the catalyst so we can use it again and again through multiple um, reactions. So eliminating all of the extra waste that we would normally see for an organic reaction. Um, Ember will now talk about the linear ligand specifically. So the ligand we're using is known as a pincer ligand and pincer ligands are tridentate ligands that coordinate to a metal compound three times. So they coordinate through the bonding capabilities of a central nitrogen and then two nitrogen arms. The specific ligand that we're using can be seen in figure one. As you can see, there's the central nitrogen of um, the five carbon ring and then the two nitrogens on the arms outside of that. So pincer ligands are unique and useful due to um, high thermal stability and then a high degree of variability in their steric properties. And so for these reasons, using a pincer ligand to coordinate to the metal makes an effective organometallic complex. So the results of our paper, or our research, um, show an effort to synthesize this organometallic catalyst with a metal center coordinated to the pincer ligand. And we have tried many different reaction conditions. So the re different reaction conditions that have been attempted include changing the solvents used, the base used to deprotonate the central nitrogen, the metal pre precursor used, and then the atmosphere at which this will be successful. However, the reactions were found to be most successful in an air-free environment of a nitrogen glove box. So the first reaction we used to attempt this methylation was a direct methylation that can be seen in scheme three. So within this direct methylation, you just add the pincer ligand, solvent, metal under the nitrogen glove box and attempt to methylate the ligand. However, this direct methylation was found to be unsuccessful. So we moved on to the direct and methylation, or the deprotonation and methylation reaction. And so this is seen in scheme four. And so it is almost the same reaction, but it goes through a little bit of a different path. 
And so most of our research was conducted through this um, reaction scheme, um, varying the solvent base and metal, um, trying to coordinate to the ligand. And through these reactions, we obtained um, an NMR. And an NMR is, um, stands for Nuclear Magnetic Resonance Spectroscopy. And it um, is used to identify molecules based on their unique hydrogen atoms. And so um, this specific reaction we ran shows us a really important thing that this hydrogen here, um, the central hydrogen, um, comes up here. This is its um, hydrogen uh, peak is shown. And when we conducted our reaction, the deprotonation methylation reaction, it sh uh, proved to show us that the hydrogen peak is gone. So that doesn't confirm that a methylation occurred, but it's one step closer with the deprotonation of the hydrogen to a methylation, which we're looking for. So in conclusion, that we, the conclusions that we've drawn from our research is that NMR spectroscopy confirms the loss of that central nitrogen's hydrogen um, in reactions using copper two and palladium as the metal precursor. Again, these NMR spectra suggest tridentate coordination, but without single X crystal X-ray diffraction, we cannot be sure of the complex's structure. Unfortunately, metallations using silver and platinum, um, the NMR spectra have displayed the presence of this nitrogen hydrogen peak still. So those reactions were unsuccessful. While the exact product of um, these reactions is unknown, the removal of the hydrogen peak in some uh, suggest a successful synthesis and then reaction conditions for those successful synthesis can be tweaked in the future. So some future directions would be to continue um, these experiments to try to find the metal that will coordinate to our ligand um, and to also, since we um, tried and exhausted all of our um, efforts with the direct methylation and deprotonation and methylation reactions, uh, figure or scheme five shows um, the direct or the general transmetallation reaction and this goes through um, two specific um, synthetic steps that the first one it adds on uh, usually a silver here which is a, a less strong metal and then in the second synthetic step it will put on a more bulkier, stronger metal that will stay coordinated easily to our ligand, such as platinum, palladium, or copper. And so that will be the next um, step in our research. And so after that, once the metal has been coordinated to the ligand successfully, um, single crystal x-ray diffraction will be used um, in order to show an accurate picture of the crystalline structure of the ligand that will um, tell us where each atom is and how it is bonded to other atoms in the complex. So this will just confirm that our metal has been properly coordinated to the ligand. And then after that, to test the catalytic ability of the methylation that occurred. So... Thank you for watching our video.